Today I will show you how to create a vintage logo design. The purpose of creativity is to have fun. So let's fun. Okay, the process of creation will be very easy. If you want to learn how to animate logo like this, check out the Dope Motions channel. There you can learn how to animate it step by step. I put the link below in the video description. Okay, let's start. I will start with the rectangle tool. Select it, hold shift keyboard button and draw it. Now I will swap fill to stroke. I will increase the size of the outline to 50. Cool! Pick up direct selection tool and delete the point. When I change the size, the outline is same. I need to convert the outline to shape. So go to object, path and select outline stroke. Now it's good. Hold shift and rotate the object by 45 degrees. I will use it for the whole abstract bird art. I will copy it 4 times. Ok, cool! I will select these two parts and copy them a few times. Use Ctrl plus C for copy and Ctrl plus F for paste in place. I finished the wings of the abstract bird and it's time for the last part. Copy the object, hold shift and rotate. I will copy one more time. And that's it, beautiful. As you can see it's very easy. Now I will select all elements and create one object from them. You can do it with Unite tool in Pathfinder. Ok, I want to create a few circles and put the bird into it. The logo will look more complete. Go to the panel and select ellipse tool. Now I will send to back the circle and paint the bird in white color. I want to create one more circle with an outline. Swap to stroke and increase the size of the outline. Ok, and now it's time for text. I will copy the circle. Paint it in green. It will be much easier to work. Swap fill and stroke. Before I continue, I will lock these circles. So, go to object lock and selection or just use the ctrl plus 2 command. I will lock the bird as well. I will copy the circle for text outside the circle. Now I will separate upper and lower part of the circle. Pick up the direct selection tool and select the lower part of the circles. Use Ctrl plus X for cut and Ctrl plus F for copy in place. As you can see, I separate these parts. Now it's time for the text. Ok, first I will pick up the type tool. Click here and type text. The text will be in the center, so I will use the text align center. Ok, check out this line here. Select it and drag to the left. Cool, that's it. I will select it and change the font. Ok, now I will copy the text with Ctrl plus C command and paste it here. I need to fix a few things. First, I will move the line to the right. Now I will move the line above. Ok, cool. As you can see the text is inside the circle and needs to be outside. So go to character and set baseline shift to minus 12. I will change the text now. 
Ok, now I will continue with the second outline. I will select the type tool, swap white to black color. I will back baseline shift to zero. Now it's good. I will move the line to the left side. The process is the same as I did with the previous text, so let some music play. Okay, cool, the text is finished. One more thing, I will fill this space with small details. I will create a circle. Copy, move it here. I want to delete everything except this part here. I can use the Y tool in Pathfinder for that. Ungroup and delete unnecessary parts. I will group the details and rotate it by 10 degrees. I will do this one more time, but with minus 10 degrees. Ok, at the end I will convert text to the object. That's it, I finished the logo. If you like this tutorial, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.